What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be discussing arguably the biggest feature coming in the new Forsaken expansion for Destiny 2, and that is a totally redesigned weapon system. There is going to be a ton of changes, and when you get a weapon in Forsaken, it's going to look entirely different than any weapon available in-game right now. Not just in actual appearance, but when you inspect it as well. So in this video, we are going to be going over all of the changes coming to weapons with Forsaken so that you guys know exactly what to expect, what is changing, and how it's going to impact the game. So let's get started. Now, normally, this would be a little bit of a difficult proposition. I would be showing you guys a completely new gun and saying, look, isn't this totally new gun different? You guys would be going, yeah, it's totally new. But thankfully, with the combat reveal stream that happened a couple of days ago, Bungie looked at these differences with a gun we already know, a gun that's already in the game right now, the Better Devil's Legendary Crucible Hand Cannon. This hand cannon has been used quite a bit. It's a very good, very desirable weapon. A lot of people have this weapon, or at least know of it, and definitely have had it used against them in the Crucible. But this is one of the select few year one weapons that's actually being redesigned for use in year two and will belong in the new year two weapon system. So we can look at what we have in game right now with the current Better Devils and look at all of its changes and how it will evolve in year two so we can very easily compare these weapons and look at all of the changes this weapon system is bringing. So let's start here at the beginning. One of the first things you're going to see with any weapon is its available perks. And that is one of the main changes coming in Forsaken. You'll notice that the perks on the Better Devils that we have right now, well, obviously they're stagnant. Every Better Devils will look exactly like the one I'm going over. It has the explosive payload perk, and that's kind of what makes it a very good weapon, especially in PvE scenarios. But... With Forsaken, there is going to be random perk rolls, so you can get a Better Devils that doesn't come with explosive rounds. And you can also get a Better Devils that does. But another very important change that you can clearly see here is that there's no longer just one main perk to rely on. Again, the Better Devils in Year 1 just had explosive payload, but as you can see, this Better Devils has explosive payload and another main perk. Rangefinder. We have a totally different Better Devils with two different main perks. That is one of the biggest changes coming with Forsaken. The fact that there's going to be two main perks on weapons as default, and that is really going to increase the power of all the weapons out there because now you can presumably randomly get a Better Devils almost exactly the same as the year one version, but it'll just have another perk, making it objectively better. But remember, it's not just these main perks that are changing. You're also going to get completely random sights for your weapon. And in Destiny 2, especially compared to Destiny 1, sights actually have pretty substantial impacts on the stat values of your gun. You can see that when I scroll over some of these sights that the stat values are impacted quite a bit. Range will go up a pretty decent amount and stability and handling will go down pretty decent amounts as well. The fact that these are now completely random means that you can really have different weapons of the same actual name just in terms of stat values because of of these sight rolls. And in addition to that, of course, you can get two random middle perks. You know, it's no longer spawning with 100% appended mag. You can also get steady rounds, for example, and that's again going to very much impact the stat values of your guns, especially. Now, we've already talked about how another main perk is just going to objectively increase the power of your weapons. But something else that's going to do that is the redesigned mod slot. So right now, with my Better Devils, I have one, one mod available, and it's just the Legendary Kinetic mod that's going to increase the overall power level by five. That's it, doesn't really do anything else. But with the Forsaken expansion, 
this mod slot will be completely different. Instead of this mod, it's actually not going to exist anymore. And with the energy mods where you could change the element, that's not going to exist anymore as well. Instead, there's going to be nine, from what we've seen so far, mods that are actually going to impact the power and the abilities of your weapon. So we're going to go over all of them. First off, we have Backup Mag, which is going to increase your magazine size. Next up, we have Freehand Grip, increases accuracy and ready speed while firing from the hip. Next up, we have Icarus Grip, improves accuracy while airborne. After that, we have Targeting Adjuster. This weapon gains better target acquisition. Next up, we have Radar Tuner. Radar immediately returns when you stop aiming down sights. After that, we have Minor Spec. Deals extra damage against rank and file enemies, kind of like red health basic enemies. After that, we have Major Spec. Deals extra damage against powerful enemies. These are going to be the yellow bar enemies that you will come across. And after that, we have Counterbalance Stock. Reduces recoil deviation for the weapon. Very powerful. And lastly, we have Boss Spec. Increases damage against bosses and vehicles. So... For PvE, I'm very interested in the three different specs, the kind of minor enemies spec, the major enemies spec, and the boss spec. You're definitely going to want to load boss spec into your snipe rifles and so on when you're doing raids, and then of course, with any weapon, either the major spec or the minor spec to deal with the massive amount of red health ads that are going to spawn and come at you, or just the more powerful enemies, both of those are great options as well. And let's not forget all of the other mods giving you more rounds in the magazine, reducing your recoil, giving you better um, airborne accuracy. Those are going to be super important for PvP and also PvE. So essentially, these redesigned mods are basically a third perk for your weapon. So you're now going to be able to get a better Devils with Explosive Payload and, let's say, Range Finder as a perk to increase the range. And you can also spec into more boss damage or spec into better airborne accuracy. You're essentially getting three main perks with this mod system. Now, of course, you're only able to choose one of these mods at a time for your weapon for the cost of 5,000 Glimmer, but you can swap it whenever you want for, again, 5,000 Glimmer, and when you end up dismantling a weapon that has one of these mods equipped, you're actually going to get the mod back, so you're not constantly losing mods. Now, apart from this mod system, there's actually one more general increase to the power potential of your weaponry, and that is the kind of redesigned masterwork system. So currently in the game, like My Better Devils is masterwork, and all you need to do is spend the appropriate amount of masterwork tokens, masterwork cores, on your weapon, you turn it into a masterwork. So there's two modes. There's non-masterwork weapons, or there's masterwork weapons. And of course, you can actually outright get weapons as a masterwork drop. But with Forsaken, that's been changed actually quite dramatically. So you're actually going to start by upgrading your weapon to masterwork 1 of a certain statistical value. Now the example we're using here is going to be range, but Bungie did say you can masterwork, for example, hand cannons in a array of different values, range, stability, handling, etc. So you can pick what stat you want to upgrade and then you have a 10 point scale of upgrades. Now right now, the scale only goes to five for a lot of the stats like range, for example. It's the masterwork on or off a situation here. So you either have a hand cannon with no masterwork status or you masterwork it and randomly get range. Now you can re-roll the stat, but still you randomly get range and range only has a five statistical value increase. But now that statistical value goes all the way to 10. So if you have a better devils with a range masterwork right now, you have an increase of five. But in Forsaken, if you have that same masterworked range increase, it will go all the way to 10. You are getting literally double the range increase of that masterwork bonus. So masterworking weapons is more important than ever. They're literally double the power in terms of that masterwork bonus than they are right now. 
However, to get to that bonus of 10, you actually need to upgrade your masterwork for that weapon 10 different times. You're gonna start out with range one and it's gonna offer just a tiny increase to range. You put some resources in that like Glimmer, it goes to range two, range three, range four, all the way up to range 10. Now, as you keep upgrading this masterwork, the resources required are going to increase steeply. So again, it's gonna start with Glimmer and it's gonna end with a bunch of masterwork cores and legendary shards. So overall, you're gonna have to put more resources into your weapon as normal in order to get it to the max masterwork, but you are getting a greater benefit for doing so with that increase to your overall stat. And not only that, but once you get to the maximum 10th level of masterworking, you're also going to unlock a new column for your gun as seen here, which is going to let you switch between displaying the amount of kills in the Crucible or in PvE, and you can just switch between those freely, just like selecting different perks for your weapon. And so, there you have it. That is all of the changes coming to weaponry with the Forsaken expansion. And overall, that's a pretty big increase to power. You have weapons again like the Better Devils that are now going to spawn with multiple main perks, just a straight increase to power. Yes, those perks are gonna be random, so sometimes you're gonna get worse versions of weapons than others, but also because they're random, you are going to get even better god rolls than you could have ever even imagined. In addition to that, the mod system is basically like getting another additional perk for your weapon, and the masterwork system is overall more powerful as well. And this is going to mean that in Forsaken, you're just more lethal overall. Guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.